Well, it was another night in the dark for thousands of SoCal Edison customers, but this time the rolling outages didn't last long. KCAL 9's Lori Perez tells us what we can expect tonight and into the coming days. And it just everything shut down. We had no idea it was coming. I had seen, um, we have friend, friends in Woodland Hills that had their powers out for three hours this afternoon. Oh so we were dreading that sort of situation. From Woodland Hills to Leah Haberman's house in Santa Monica, rolling blackouts pushed families into panic mode over the possibility of hours without AC or fans. As temps and electricity demands continue to rise hand in hand, SoCal Edison says it was forced to shut down power for about 70,000 Customers from 628 until 644 to protect the system from overloading. Meanwhile, walk out the shower so you're still wet. <laughs> it's no point of drying off because you're still wet <laughs> with the AC on. <laughs> After years of that kind of sweltering summer back east, transplants Nina Smith and family know the best way to beat the heat is to not fight it, which is why we found them starting their hike as the sun was going down. They'd find some relief, but maybe not. UCLA climate scientist Daniel Swain has been warning this heat wave could be one of the biggest heat waves we've seen um, this decade. And in fact, he says we're going to see a lot of nights, especially across the inland areas where temperatures never dropped to comfortable levels and that that adds additional stress on the human body additional stress on electrical grids and just makes it harder to cope with the heat um, when it doesn't cool down at night and that was Lori Perez reporting power companies are asking residents to really help conserve energy as much as possible especially between the hours of 3 and 10 p.m.